I would not expect to make the next cake so much earlier than the last cake and to be this number. I am so overwhelmed and I think David as well. We're so, so, so happy and so thankful. We cannot just say too many times, I think. So what I have made here is an apple cake. Just an apple cake with slices. I made the recipe of the yogurt cake that I've made in one of the past videos, but I made a double just because I made it in a big form so I can write the number on it and we can share it with our neighbors. And I just wrote the 20 on it, which is right now melting because the cake is still very hot. It means so much to us to be getting those numbers and so many followers because we were actually consider considering of quitting YouTube because we could not finance the projects. We could maybe finance ourselves, but we could not finance the projects, which means that there would be no content for you to watch. So actually in August, the start of August, we were talking with David, if we want to stop YouTube for September, not only for September, like September till Christmas, and then maybe do again videos on Christmas, just because we could not afford anything. And um, somehow YouTube heard it, I don't know, it's not our path. And they gave us that big boom, actually, a few days before it happened, on the our big boom happened on 14th, the 15th of August. We were actually talking with David. Yeah, you know, we cannot do that anymore. We cannot finance the goat house. We're really on the edge, and it just happened. <laughs> so we're so thankful. I hope you can understand how much it means to us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue doing YouTube. Clearly, we're not gonna stop. And uh, we're earning enough to live and for our projects and dreams to keep going. And with your support, thank you so much for all the donations and all the private supports. Uh, you're gonna see us making a lot of projects now. Oh my God, we have our heads are full of things we wanna do and things we're gonna we can't afford now to do. So September, we're probably gonna try to film every day just because we have so many things. So we're gonna keep filming and we're gonna go strong in it for all those 20,000 people. But um, let's go inside because I think there's a big cloud coming and uh, it's starting to pick up a bit of wind and also so David can be part of the Q&A that we're gonna do, a small Q&A. If you know already most of the things about us, skip on that time where we're gonna do something special. Let's go inside. We came back inside. Yeah, I am really sad we could not do the Q&A outside. But I'm afraid it's gonna be too windy, so yeah. we'd rather have a good audio and you being able to understand us it instead of having &A, so. instead of having wind. Yeah, it's anyways. We one day talking. maybe we're gonna have those professional clip yeah. mics where we can talk forever outside and anywhere. So maybe that's gonna be investment in the upcoming I won't say upcoming years, but no <laughs> upcoming months. Yeah. So let's get started with some questions, questions yeah. that we asked you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. By the way, we do have Instagram. If you don't want to check it out there, you will find it in down below Somewhere in the description. Here. But yeah, uh, let's answer the questions. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have we're gonna answer ten questions. Two of them are from YouTube, the most common asked questions, and those are: How do we earn money, and how do we live and sustain ourselves? I just see all the gods running away. <laughs> <laughs> how uh, we do YouTube. It was a rough climb, yeah. but we were earning money to live. We had our savings, that's how we started the whole renovation. It did not cost us a lot, the whole renovation, so, because as you have seen, if you have seen our videos... We're, we're doing do, it on budget. Yeah, we're doing everything on budget, <laughs> we're reusing everything. So we're doing it quite on budget, but it looks nice, I'm not gonna Hopefully lie. Hopefully one day we will have the tools and, yeah. and money to be able to do big projects and do it really beautifully. And, yeah, and but for now, but it yeah. is livable, that's the most important. And yeah, um, we do YouTube and now with the big boom, oh my god, we're it's gonna, gonna help us a lot. <laughs> it's gonna help us way more to live and to do our projects. Thank you everyone for Thank all your you donations. Yes. For Patreon, we do have Patreon as well if you yeah. want to check it out or you can just donate as much as you want, once, twice, whatever you want. And even just watching our videos means a watching lot. Watching our videos <laughs> is just perfectly yeah. enough 
watch uh, our videos as much as you want, of course, as well. No yeah. pressure here. <laughs> and thank you so much for everyone being watching our videos as well, because that means also a lot to us. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we do YouTube and that's how we pay everything. And another question was, what have we learned? Uh, no, what have, not what have we learned, but what have we done as our job and what our profession is, kind of, not really. Yeah. I don't remember exactly how it was pronounced. Yeah, the question. what have yeah, you exactly. done before like yes. to know this stuff? Okay, talk, because I've talked enough. I grew up <laughs> in a farm, so I was growing up doing kind of these things and learning next to my grandpa, next to my father, doing building, brick, all of this was pretty much in my life from day start day and we had cows, we had animals, chickens, all of this was normal for me and of course I was also a bit of a rebel, I was stealing materials and building my own things, I yeah, built tree always. houses, I built my own village for in like a bit of a teepee houses and all kinds of things I was building like indigenous kind of village I wanted to build because I was learning on history so I have had this history of wanting to do and build things all the time. Exactly. Uh, actually when my father left the house as a man, I was decided I will do the second floor which was started so I was starting to put rock wool on the side. Well, how old were you? 11? 11, 11, 12. So I yeah. put, not rock wool, it was glass wool. I just did glass wool. It was really itchy, you know, as a kid. I didn't understand why it's itchy, yeah. but it was itchy. It was fluffy, but itchy. So I put <laughs> a rock wool. I did uh, with nails, the nailed the rock wool in to hold it. Probably whoever came after it bought the house was like, what the hell has happened here? <laughs> but yeah, I tried. <laughs> but yeah, I always been doing done? that. But what have you done, actually? I studied engineering. Yeah. And I worked as tool repairs, uh, as a repair guy for repairing generators, motor saws, so trimmers, you have on uh, power tools, things. all of that. And then I have also worked for Trelleborg, which is the biggest wheel company, yeah. and I was doing engineering there, where I was repairing machines, doing making tools for CNC machines. So I was working quite a good job. Yeah. But yeah, this is much more better for me. I love yeah. doing this. <laughs> well, my story is not as long and as complicated. Uh, but I also like to do crafts. I was a really crafty girl. I was into art. I was into crafting So I also have a bit of a like background on using my brain and knowing how to do things like, Kind of knowing how to develop creativity. creativity. Thank you uh, That's why we fit good together because David has mostly the yeah. knowledge of how to do it and I am creative So it fits together and we communicate really good on that level. Yeah. I just do things so they work. Yeah. She yeah. does it the so, they look <laughs> so they look good um, but what I have studied is, um, I wouldn't say engineering, is journalist. I was uh, one year as a journalist, but I decided that I do not like that job because you don't know, today you get something nice and then the next day you get something bad. It's not something you can choose. I always loved doing filmmaking. We actually did together some filmmaking, some companies, but I realized it's much better for me to choose my own project than having it chosen for me and yeah. the stress because today you go to a nice unicorn event and then the next day you have to film something sad or something not that yeah. pleasant and also it yeah. was not the best environment a filming industry is yeah, pretty it's, rough it's really rough and you have it's you get the theme today and you have to deliver the and next, it's competitive the day, same as well. day as an actor for example i was like casted or yeah. go to casting yeah, and it's thing really thing difficult well. it's to get hired yeah so, competition. we have done quite a few things, but mostly I've done a um, journalist and we have done together some film yeah. making videos, so that's why we're filming. Make. Filmmaking is a bit good, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. It's quite good, so we have a bit of a background on that. I think those are the most common questions asked on YouTube. So let's move on, on Instagram. Let's start with, what did you wish you knew before buying an old house? I did my research for three months, so yes. I didn't not come here unprepared. Yeah, and I was too sentimental of leaving my mom and my country, which is Greece. I did not do any research and I arrived here and one year later I just realized what we have done. So for me it was just, okay, come here, work, You were not do. prepared, you did I was not, not prepared. know what's happening. I would not know, even if I would buy a new house or an old house, I was not prepared for anything. So I don't think we got prepared for anything. <laughs> I was prepared. And you got prepared, yeah, I mean not at all. So, are you planning to renovate your house and live in it, or are you planning to sell it? Sell it. No. <laughs> we were planning to sell it. When we first bought the house, we said renovate and flip it, which means renovate and sell it. 
the, yeah, that idea just cut off yeah, quite fast. fast yeah. Because as soon as we started doing brick walls, yes. and natural, not natural, reclaimed yes, ceilings. Yes, because we and, thought we're just gonna slap some regips on the walls. Not regips even, like we, it looked nice. It looked okay. Yeah, we just unless, need to fix up the plastering, yeah, paint unless them, you put some floors. Go. Yeah, you knock on it and it falls down, so you know you yeah. don't do that anymore. This was not. <laughs> Leaveable, you know it falls off. Yeah, only thing you do. Yeah, put new plastering on I guess But we, I liked kind of the brick look I have been living no, in a no, white wall nice. house and as we say we can always go back to white yeah, wall Yeah, you can always to. put yeah. regips on or paint them whatever <laughs> or plastering yeah. but plastering of course It's really hard to get it off regips. Of course you could take it off easier, but you can always go other way Yeah, well. we're gonna it's live easier to add. We're gonna live on the brick walls as long as we can but yeah, no, that's not the as long point as we, want, yeah. <laughs> we got off topic uh, no, we're not gonna sell it. No. Even if we get a new house, even if we get our dream house, our dream mansion, I don't know. This We're is always gonna, gonna be our house. We can rent it out for holidays for you guys if you wanna come one day. <laughs> but no, we're not selling it. We'd rather rent it out. But imagine, it's always gonna be on our Imagine you've been name. watching it for like one, two years and then you're there. See how awful it is in Spain in person. <laughs> oh, as if you were you mean. <laughs> yeah, as if you're. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're not selling it. That is off the table very fast. Will you continue to travel on other countries? Yes. One day. One day when we have a babysitter for our animals. Because we're gonna travel if we don't have anyone to take care of them. We took a big responsibility, we have to stand for it. We're not gonna just sell them just because we're gonna travel the world. Once we get a babysitter <laughs> that we can pay, we're gonna travel again. How's your finger? It's good. Yeah, don't I don't want to show you that. I'm gonna show you a close-up if you want after. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look very nice, but yeah. It's, uh, it's workable. It's okay, it's a bit no feeling on the top and the nail is really struggling to grow. Maybe I do need to go to a doctor and get the nail pulled up and straightened out and like they yeah, like hold okay. it up with the metals yes. to make it go straight. It, the finger is okay, just the nail is a problem right yeah. now. Finger is healed, has no feeling and it will never have. Yeah, probably. Because all but, the nerves are damaged. Yeah, damaged nerves. But the nail needs to be repaired and that will be back to normal because it feels like it's not my nail like my nails feel like normal But this one just doesn't feel nice. Right? And if you have missed what happened David planed his finger pretty much cut and finger one ever. year roughly one year ago November November yeah. November he just yeah. planed it. He was lucky in his unluckiness for not losing more Yeah, that could have been way worse. <laughs> Do you want more animals? Definitely yes. <laughs> We want more animals. It's an addiction if you are in homestead or farm yeah. Once you get farm more farm. like hobby farm, not business farm, because that's no, different. No, well, that's different. If you're as a hobbyist or homesteader, you know how addictive it is to get more animals. Yeah, we started weirdly. We actually started with goats, not with chickens. Like usually yeah. start, you know, easy with chickens. We started with goats, and then we just got chickens, and then we got chickens, and then we got a rooster as a gift from our neighbors, and after we got a rooster, we got our gooses, our goose geese, uh, geese. to take care of geese to take care of our chickens yeah. from hawks. And um, then we got Barbara, our sheep. And with her babies. With her babies, Marulis and Asprula. <laughs> <laughs> Weird names. Asprula means white and Marulis means lettuce just because David kept saying Marulis instead of Mavrulis, which means black. This is black Greek. Meat. This is Greek. So, yeah, what are we getting next? My father said we should get horses, but I told him how expensive they are and he um, ign ignored it. <laughs> Horse would be nice. Horse would be nice. A, a donkey, cow. maybe? A donkey, I would also like. Funny donkey. Funny donkey, <laughs> and uh, maybe some ponies, I don't know. But let's start with horses. <laughs> definitely, definitely, before we buy all of these, maybe the barn, buy a cow. Barn needs to be a bit bigger. Yeah, first we need to do a lot of work, but you know, dreams are dreams. We, and we definitely gonna gonna need a bit, a bit of a babysitter, or more called a poo, -poo cleaner. <laughs> a poo, poo cleaner and an actual person living Because we here. have too much work of filming. So if you are willing to live here for free, and clean poop. <laughs> clean poop. Is it a dream job? <laughs> huh? I mean, you're in the nature, you're in the countryside, and you smell fresh doodles yeah. every day. Goats don't stink, by the way, so don't worry. Not cows, at all. Cows will. And Barbara stinks a bit. Okay, we do want more animals. That's the point. Why did we buy the farmhouse here? Here, saying Latvia. Why did we buy it here? Because. It's cheap. It's cheap, first of all, here the market value was yeah. pretty low when Very we bought low. it. You saw from the first video. Yeah, 12,000 is really low. Yeah. Uh, I'm from here, so that means all the expenses and legal stuff is really easy, super easy and really low. Yeah. Instead of paying high taxes and yeah, like high lawyers and everything. In Italy, for example, buying something in Italy yeah. when we're both not from yeah. there. It would be it ridiculous. Just, yeah, way too, way too hard. In Greece, for example, where Desperate's yeah, from. Yeah, it would be also easy. Okay. Easy, but... Expensive. Uh, expenses. Yeah. Really expensive. But you could not even get anything in that price with so much land. Not even a piece of land. square. 
not even land yeah. you could get. But uh, yeah, cheap, easy, beautiful, beautiful, extremely beautiful. Nice weather. Extremely good culture. Yeah, culture, weather. The country itself is pretty beautiful. It's really calm, Very not tidy, many people. Clean. Clean, but not many people either, so you don't have like neighbors all over around yeah. you. It's not too crowded. Over crowded, exactly. And uh, yeah, we're really lucky with our neighbors. They're the best neighbors that we could ever <laughs> imagine before getting. We could get a super grumpy neighbors, but no, we got the best neighbors. Yeah, we could ever. So yeah, that's why we got it cheap. David is from here and we love the country, the culture, the weather. I don't like that so much heat in Greece, so this is perfect. Yeah, the heat in here in summer was actually pretty It was high. actually really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you planning to grow your own, to grow your own meat? We do have our own meat in here. We have goats yeah. and Barbara is a sheep, a meat sheep. Yeah. She's not for, mil for milk, she's only for wool and meat. But, but I don't have the heart to do that. <laughs> it's not as easy as, as it, it sounds. sounds. Yeah, like, People that do it, of course, they know yeah, it's big like respect, nothing. Big respect, but uh, yeah. it's not that easy. No. And also saying goodbye to an animal to kill it no. is. Yeah. I mean. I'd rather not. I, I'm not that interested in eating meat overall. Yeah, we want to cut off on meat and we're going to try. Like, it's good to eat to meat once in a while for all the while. vitamins and everything. And the looks, maybe, or. But a for good me, meat. too much of it, just no. I just get sick of it. Chickens, for example. I mean, we have four chickens. Chicken is something maybe a meat-wise I, I could, not could do, it. do it. I could. I don't know how. But it is. I just, <laughs> I just think it's messy for the yeah. price that chicken meat is. But and I prefer the eggs. Also, yeah, I prefer the eggs first of all. And okay, the meat in the market is really cheap because it's badly grown. Yeah, it maybe is not the best grown. But I can live without chicken meat, for example. Yeah, I can I'd live rather live with eggs. Like the cake we made today was with eight eggs. We're struggling to use up our eggs. Yeah. So. Eggs the best and goat milk. Once in a while we eat the chicken meat yeah. from a store. It's, it's like okay. so rare you eat it. So rare. Yeah. And we, as we said, we want to cut off. So I don't think we're ever going to plan to grow our animals for meat. Yeah. They're all, always going to be for pets. For happiness. <laughs> happiness, pets, because they give you such a big happiness. You cannot yeah. even imagine. It's hard, to, it's hard to explain it because yes. once you have them, it's just such a joy every day. Like happiness. Seeing and them and laughing at them. Just laughing at them mostly but seeing them or telling them goodbye just would break my heart especially if you have three yeah. or four animals it's just uh, seeing them one day there and then not knowing yeah. that you ate them it doesn't eating yeah it's worse <laughs> La a fox so. taking away our goose for example it was, okay, it was heartbreaking, nature, heartbreaking but a lot. it was more of a nature way instead of oh we just killed it and you know hey. heartbreaking because we're eating it right now yeah. <laughs> like seeing out the window the other goose being lonely and we're eating the one goose no we so never sad. do that no, I don't think yeah, we ever do that. We're too attached to our animals. I hope we don't talk too much over each other. And I hope <laughs> we don't talk too much overall for you. Yes, and I hope... I am trying. I'm really trying... To speak really, really <laughs> slowly. <laughs> yes, I've been getting those comments non-stop to talk slowly. But it's hard when you're excited. Yes, thank you. It's hard, really hard when I'm excited and just want to share so much with you. It's just really hard to... <laughs> Another thing was we're not showing the final product, which I understand. But we're just like when we finish something, we don't show the final product enough. We show I it guess. so quickly and we move on, ending it, and that's it. I guess. Because we are just so tired sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yes. And just get over with it, you know? Yeah. Like we, we when you make the thing for many days. <laughs> you don't want to see it anymore. And especially if you have to move on to other projects, yeah. just it's fast, right away. Fast, fast, fast. <laughs> so I'm gonna try in the future to talk slower and, and show you more final products. Thank you. <laughs> we're improving from your recommendations. So, last but not least, how we met. Simply. Simple. Not the most romantic if you're waiting for a romantic story right now. Super romantic. Sorry, we're gonna disappoint you. I am a bit disappointed for not having the romantic movie style book. It's pretty much every Netflix TV show now. No. We met online. Not the most uh, romantic way, maybe, but, or you would, or you would expect maybe not to lash just because it was online. I mean, we just text online, can we go on a date? And then yes. we go and meet each other, and it's love yeah, from the first sight. We walk and we talk for hours, we walk on the beautiful pier in uh, Nyar, uh, Flisvos, in uh, Athens, the beautiful city of Athens, the ancient gods. You can't imagine anything more romantic than this, can you? No, okay, well, we, we actually did not talk It was pretty long. beautiful, though. Because David is the person who said, yeah, if we go out, let's go out and meet each yeah, other and talk, I he doesn't know, much, yeah, we, we met typing. like the first day, we matched on the app, <laughs> and I was like, okay, fine, mom, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna be back at 11, yeah, my mom's calling me at 12, where are you, I'm still outside, yeah, yeah, we are having fun, <laughs> and we were just talking and talking, I've never had that with anyone, just go out, we didn't go to any bar, to any cafe, to anything, anything, we just, just appear, just appear, we said, yeah, no one, none of us was a bit awkward of 
inviting each other or I'm awkward yeah. going out for the first time with someone and needing to go to a cafe. Yeah. So we were just outside talking, 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 talking. Six o'clock in the morning, we were still talking <laughs> and David had to go back to work. And that happened for a week straight. And then we said, you know what, why we only, if, I don't know why we only met like in the night. <laughs> all night long. After work, I After guess. work, yeah. Or you didn't want to meet in the day because of the heat as well. Oh yeah, it was super hot. It was, it was in July. It was the Greek summer. Yeah. But yeah, that's how we met. And uh, that's how we are now together. Yeah. But really it doesn't really mean how you meet. It's the way you future. develop it. <laughs> so yeah, I think we answered most of the questions. I am yeah. again talking very fast. I am very sorry. But... Uh, that's it? No. Tomorrow we have our live stream. But today also something. Today something else, what is today? The video itself? Oh! <laughs> okay, sorry, the video is getting way too long, yeah. but we forgot something we have to do. We're gonna do that, but uh, before that, I'm gonna tell, I wanna say that we have our live stream tomorrow at 6 o'clock. That time? I don't remember it. What 6 o'clock our time? Our time, yes. GMT, Green Rick, Mean Time, pl 3 plus, 3 plus, plus 3. Plus three. <laughs> So we're gonna have the live stream then. I think we have decided the poll decided pretty much. Yeah. That's the most, most common polls, one. Yeah. We're gonna be uploading it the day after probably because we don't wanna post it raw as it is. We just wanna cut up to make it easier for you guys. As so well. you, if you miss it, you can still watch it. The right next up. day. But the next day, <laughs> don't expect it. So like that's gonna be like a live tour. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be good enough quality. Yeah. On live, but um, maybe we film it with the camera at the same time as we're live streaming, so we'll we can cut the footage of the camera we will see uh, we'll see you will see that tomorrow yeah so if you're um joining in the live stream it's gonna be at six but yeah we have one more thing that we didn't show you so let's fast forward the day and make it night here not here outside <laughs> We have secured it with two rocks and that's not gonna move. Here's my lighting place. Yep. We should have it on the other side. Nah, it's okay. Right? Uh, no? I don't know, whatever you feel like running or what. It's okay, I'll light it up and run with the loop. Well, don't light it up now. I light it with, run with the loop. Okay, let's get the drone up. Okay. Let's set up the tripod. Yeah, we have, can you light up over there? We have a hero <laughs> sit behind. To yeah, let's go to our base. Come back fast, okay? Don't fall down. We did it. <laughs> um, it was way too much for us to film the drone and the camera, so I, I have no idea how it all worked out because we also wanted to enjoy it, but it was also only 30 seconds. So I hope we found it good, but we enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I hope it was a good su surprise, I guess. But yeah, hope 50,000 bigger one. Yeah, and 50,000 we're gonna do the bigger one. We're actually thinking, we said no, let's go small, and then next time maybe the bigger one. Uh, but don't worry, also the goats were super far away. We were like on the other side of the field, so they were far away. The goose and the chickens were inside locked in, and we also informed the neighbors so they don't get scared, and they actually came out to see them. So yeah, I don't think anyone got scared. <laughs> well, I got scared because it was so unexpected. Because I was like, did you light it up or not? It lighted up fast, instantly, like yeah. Click. I, I think that's what it's supposed to do. But I don't know how we filmed it. We're gonna go edit it now and see ourselves. But I hope it was good. And thank you again so much. And we're gonna see you tomorrow at the live. Hope you enjoyed. And gonna see you next time. Why is this roll so wet? Ooh, it has.